Hello. Master Ken here with another episode of Master Ken's Privates. I'm here today with Michelle Watterson, who is known to many as the Karate Hoochie. <clears throat> hottie. Sorry, the Hottie Hoochie. No, no, Karate Hottie. All right, close enough. Today she's going to be teaching us the technique known as the ass kick. Axe kick. That actually makes more sense. All right, well today we're demonstrating the axe kick and one of the reasons why this kick is so effective is because it's kind of deceiving. If me and my opponent are fighting and I go to kick him in the leg, he thinks that hurts, so I'm gonna do, do it again. The next time I do it, he's gonna block it. But instead of kicking the leg, I'm gonna bring it up and I'm either gonna kick his collarbone or the side of his head. And that's why it's so effective. So I'm just gonna demonstrate it right now. Um, do you have a pad or something? I don't need a pad. You should probably get a pad. Just hold it right there around the face. Okay, so we're fighting, we're fighting. First kick, boom, leg kick. Then I go to do it again. He blocks the leg kick. I bring it up for that kick. You okay? I think you dislocated my spine. <clears throat> Last axe kick. <laughs> All right, problem number one with Michelle's axe kick is that it's missing the very thing that was named after an axe. Problem number two is that if you happen to be fighting someone that's the size of a Sasquatch, you're probably not going to be flexible enough to hit the collarbone or the head without spending a lot of time at home stretching. A waste of your time. I would change the angle and do a variation on the axe kick that I like to call chopping the wood. Looks like this. That's going to lower the opponent. It's going to get him closer to a more accessible level where you can kick him. At this point, I would use a very advanced technique that you should never, ever do. It's called going axe to mouth. At that point, body's going to be on the ground. You're going to have to decide whether to turn him into authorities or to transport him someplace to be buried. Either way, you're going to want to chop him up first for easier transport, like so. I'm Master Ken. This is Michelle Watterson, the Karate Hoochie Hoot Nanny. I hope you learned something. I know that she did. Tune in next week for another peek at Master Ken's Privates.